girlfriends. I'm back. It's been a minute, but I've been busy working like a dog. And also I have a new toy that I can't wait to share with you. So take a peek. Now, enough about that toy. Let's pay attention to this toy. I can't even believe I'm about to utter these words out of my pie hole, but it's the truth. I've been neglecting my fear of. There, I said it, I'm not proud, it's the truth, and it's gonna stop today. I went to go start my fear of, and it is dead as a door. Now granted, it's been a little while, I knew the battery was starting to go. I bought a little handy dandy portable charger, which I'll show you, which has been working great, but now it's done, it's, it's had enough. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna show you how to change the battery in a 1988 Pontiac Fiero base model. Now, for all of you uh, smarty pants are saying right now, uh, a monkey can change a battery. Yes, I'm well aware of that, but this is also Repairs 101. Not repairs 201, not repairs 301, and certainly not repairs 401 or 501. So let's get started, shall we? Always very important to make sure you have all the proper gear to work on your car. Safety first. Got my OSHA shoes back on. I've got my mechanics pants. These are great with mechanics pants because they got pockets for your tools and keys and stuff like that. They also double as uh, Pilates for the hotties pants when you gotta go work out, but today the mechanics pants. Let's see what kind of tools we're gonna need. Now, we're definitely gonna want some gloves. I only have two in different colors today, but whatever, it'll work. This isn't a fashion show. And we're gonna need mechanics rag, in case I get my lipstick on some of the tools or on the new battery. And we have some wrenches. So I think we're gonna need a 10 millimeter on this thingy, on the party favor. You know how much I love the party favor tool. Um, but we're gonna find out what that is. I know I'm gonna need a couple things once I go to the um, auto parts store when I swap out the batteries. So I'll show you those things before we get started. So let's open this puppy up and take a look at the battery, shall we? Okay, first let me show you how to tell if you have a dead battery. Nothing. No lights, no turning over, no clicking, nothing. Just dead, dark, and sad. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we gotta get some light in here because I always forget my flashlight. So much so that a friend of mine is like, I've gotta get you a flashlight that actually sticks to your car so we can stop this game of you're having one. So actually this is pretty cool. It's a um, it's a little mechanic type flashlight or thing and it's got a magnet here even though like most of this car is fiberglass. <laughs> but I did find a really great spot so let's turn that on. We're gonna stick it here and that should light up where we need it to be. So first thing first you gotta take these two little clips off and get behind here. It's pretty easy to take that grill thing off. So we'll set that there. Stay. Um, and now we're gonna come figure out, come over here and figure out which one, I think it's this, probably this is 10 millimeter, that I will be able to get in there with this. So we're gonna have to try our wrenches. Now you want to take the negative off first. So I'm going to show you how to do that as soon as I figure out which one it is supposed to be. Okay, so we're going to use a 5 16th wrench. We're going to take off the negative first. So you want to undo that. Put that there. And then next we're going to do the negative there. I mean the positive which is here okay so we have that 
off and we have the negative off. Next, we're gonna have to do, there's a little, there's a bolt right here. I don't know if you can see that bolt. That one right there. So I'm gonna have to get a tool and we'll undo that. Now, I know this isn't probably the right tool, but it's a weird, awkward spot. And this thing will do just fine. Can't wait for those comments. Okay. Now we've taken this piece off that holds the battery on the bottom portion in place. Put that there. And then I think we're ready to lift it. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Okay. It looks pretty clean in there. I was gonna suggest that cleaning out the um let me show you. Cleaning out the the tray thingy, but it looks pretty clean. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. What we are gonna do now is off to the auto parts store with my battery and come back with a freshie and then we will install a new one and hope that my Fero fires back up. Okay, I'm back from the auto parts store. I've got our new battery and I didn't have to buy a tube of the dielectric grease because the battery comes with some. So let's uh, glove up and then lube up. Okay, now that we're all lubed up, we're going to attach the positive first. We're gonna reverse that. So I'm gonna put that against there. Might take a second. Try it. There we go. So that's on there pretty good. Now we'll do the negative. It's hard to see this one. Okay, so now we're gonna reattach this piece, which maybe I should have done before I put the battery in, but whatever, too late now. I'm gonna use my pliers. I know it's not the right tool, but whatever tool gets the job done is the right tool for me. You don't even have to know the name of them. It's a thingy is all I care to call it, just a thingy. So let me screw this back in. Such a weird... Okay, like 50 turns later, it's in there. It's solid, it ain't going anywhere. Now. Okay, and then next we gotta put our grill thingy back on. There's a little piece here that has like a little slit that you can line up this bolt right here. Slide it, it should line up. That, screw back in, go the other side. Okay, let's we'll fire this puppy up and see what happens. Okay, my people, it's the moment of truth. Please fire up, please fire up, please fire up. Here it goes. how you change the battery in your 1988 Pontiac Fiero base model. Now, if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you didn't enjoy it, please subscribe to my channel. Now, earlier in the video, I told you I was gonna show you my portable jumper that I bought, so here is that. 
So if you're thinking about getting one and you're not sure if they really work, um, I can tell you that this one is totally worth it. I think it was about 125 bucks, 100 bucks, I don't even remember. Um, but this is the one that I bought. Um, this is it. It comes with its, the cables already on it and the battery. It's super easy to use. It's super easy to charge. You can just use your 110 outlet in your house or whatever. Um, but this has saved my ass a couple times when the battery is going low and when the battery is dying in the Fiero. And just to get it started up, um, just to, you know, have the engine running every week or two weeks. So I totally recommend it. That's what I got. I just keep it in the Fiero trunk now and it's totally cool. So more importantly, uh, I'm going to put a little tag at the end of this video for my upcoming channel called A Girl and Her Motorcycle, my Yamaha R3, because what is more hot than a girl on a motorcycle? Nothing. The answer is absolutely nothing. So I hope you'll enjoy that. It's going to be a little bit to get the content up. Um, I'm filming a couple things now, so enjoy that. Enjoy this, and I'll see you uh, for episode five of A Girl and Her Fiero. Adios. Uh -huh.